Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Slow Cooking with Pete. I'm Pete, Peter Rasmussen, the features editor, and I'm providing you another uh, recipe, my monthly recipes that I find online. This one I found from Pillsbury.com. This weekend is Easter, right? And you may not be in charge of the main dish, and if you're going to an Easter dinner and you're trying to figure out what to make, uh, you can make mashed potatoes, and this recipe is super easy. Uh, doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Just a little bit of time, three and a half hours to cook the potatoes. It costs for three pounds. I mean, I'm not making as, uh, I don't think, I think this is about two pounds, maybe a little bit more than two pounds. Also, I cut the, the potatoes as thin and as small as possible because it cooks faster when you do that. I'm just gonna add a half a cup of water. So here at the monitor, we don't have measuring cups, so you just use the cups that I, use, I bring from home to drink water in. So you need four cloves of garlic. I just kind of eyeball it. I love garlic, garlic salt. Just add a little bit, and I use this in lieu of uh, actual salt. All right, and just you just add a little bit of olive oil. And this is where you get your hands a little dirty. You just gotta go in there and mix it up. Make sure your hands are clean before you do this. You're gonna cook it on high for three and a half hours. This is my most favorite part of the entire recipe because you get to mash the potatoes. I like mashing them. If you don't like mashing them, just get your kid to do it if you have a kid. You wanna add a half a cup of milk or more if you need it. Um, I'm just eyeballing it because again, here at the monitor we don't have measuring cups and I forgot to bring them. This is to help make it a little creamier. I'll throw in an entire, well not an entire um, stick of butter, but half a stick of butter. You wanna add eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm telling you, this is really good. I tried it for um, Thanksgiving and it was a big hit. So I'm ready to taste it. I've never made it this creamy before, so hopefully it comes out well. Uh, make sure to uh, watch Slow Cooking with Pete every final Wednesday of the month. I almost forgot that, but every final Wednesday of the month.